Hey everyone, this week's ingredient comes from Anna in Worcester, Massachusetts. Oh, Ooh, wait, my sister says it's not pronounced Worcester, but Wooster, like the bird with the comb on its head. Well, Anna from Wooster writes, Ms. B, there is sodium chloride in my shampoo. Isn't that table salt? What the f is table salt doing in my shampoo? Well, Anna, you cut right to the chase, don't you? It might be called sodium chloride on the label, but you and I know it as plain old table salt. And yep, we're putting the same thing that goes into our mouths into our hair. Sodium chloride contains two basic elements, sodium and chlorine. Independently, the two have a tendency to, well, overreact. In its pure form, sodium reacts explosively with water. And if you were a soldier in World War I, you'd know that even the slightest bit of chlorine gas can be fatal. Retreat! But put the two together, and these charged elements go neutral. In solid form, salt is a crystal. Oh, they love crystals. And you can get it from two places. It can be mined from ancient seabeds that dried up millions of years ago or collected from shallow ponds of seawater left to evaporate in the hot sun. Salt is filtered to become 97.5% pure food grade sodium chloride without any of the gunk or the fishy bits. Mm. <laughs> All right, let's get down to the question. What the heck is salt doing in our shampoo? In shampoo, salt acts as a thickener, creating a rich, thick, luxurious feel that us consumers go gaga over. You see, shampoo is created when small droplets of cleanser are suspended in a watery solution. The salt transforms these small, spherical droplets, called micelles, into long, thin, noodle-like structures, sort of like tiny, tangled spaghetti. It is these entangled micelles that thicken our shampoo. Worried about too much salt in your shampoo? Forget about it. Piling on the salt actually reverses the thickening effect, leaving your shampoo thin and runny. Cosmetic chemists call this the salt curve. In hair care products, salt has a lot of other duties it performs as well. In John Master Seamest, it acts as a volumizer and texturizer, giving you that I just spent the day at the beach look. Bumble and Bumble Surf Spray uses magnesium sulfate salt for the same effect. In products like Lush's Big Shampoo, salt crystals are used as a preservative and an exfoliant, making an unwelcome home for bacteria and removing dead skin cells from the scalp. Got a product with salt in the ingredients? Then post it in the comment section below and tell me why you think it's there. Want to hear about another ingredient? Then jump on the keyboard and write me at askme at The next question I answer could be the one that you request.